The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Peter Johnson at WheatPeat, realagriculture.com, and what an opportunity! Oh my gosh! We have a whole bunch of acres out there that never got planted to any crop. What's the number one way to make big wheat yields? Plant early. So suddenly, we have this unbelievable opportunity. Now, we have this great opportunity because if we plant early, yield potential goes zoom, but if we do it wrong, yield potential may actually go way down. So I'm working with one right now from this year where an early planted wheat field yielded 34 bushels per acre. 34, because there was too much wheat in the rotation. So you really are gonna have to step back and say, okay, I wanna plant wheat early. I really want essentially all those unplanted acres to go to wheat because we have unplanted acres, not just in Ontario, almost maybe 200,000 in Ontario, but we also have a whole bunch unbelievable in Ohio. We have a whole bunch in New York State. There's some in Michigan. All of those acres should go to wheat because remember, all the benefits, a, a big wheat crop, some straw to sell, you can look after some weeds and you get more corn and more soybeans for the next time through the rotation. 5% more corn, 11%, two years after the fact, 11% more soybeans. We gotta get those acres into corn if we can, or into wheat rather, if we can at all. Here's the problem. If you have a lot of wheat in the rotation and you plant wheat super early, all you do is develop this massive root system in the fall and guess what? There's a whole bunch of lovely disease organisms in the, in the soil that'll just infect that great big root system. They'll get into the wheat plant, and whether it's Fusarium crown rot, whether it's take all, whether it's eye spot, you won't know it. You won't know it until at least about June the 1st, and it might be June the 20th before you know you've got it, and then there goes the yield. So, we don't want to plant that wheat too early. Go to GoCereals.ca, www.GoCereals.ca. Joanna Fallings, the new cereal specialist with Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs, has put up a revamped map of planting dates. Look at your optimum planting date. And then, how early can you go? Well, 10 days ahead of your optimum planting date, no worries. You go much before that, and you start getting into a bit of a gray zone. Now be careful with that. Most of the unplanted acres, believe it or not, will be on the heavy, undrained soils. If it starts raining, baby, we might not plant those acres till November, if at all. So we don't want to get into that scenario. So absolutely, look at the weather. Wait, if you can, till 10 days before the optimum planting date. But if there's rain coming and you're I don't know, 18 days before the optimum planting date, the risk of low yield from planting too early is much less than the risk of low yield from planting too late. But the other thing you must pay attention to is how frequently that field has been. If you're in a wheat, soybean, wheat, soybean, wheat, soybean rotation, you had it in wheat and you took that wheat out this spring and you, man, you're at high risk for those diseases and you, you may have to rethink whether you can actually go to wheat. If you're a wheat one year and five, it can go to wheat even though it was planted in wheat last, last year, last fall, and you, it wasn't good enough and you sprayed those acres out and then you couldn't plant anything, that can still go to wheat. But not if there's too many years of wheat in that particular rotation. What are the other things you really have to do? So. We have to back off the seeding rate. Man, that is one thing that we have not done a good enough job on. If we are planting ahead of the optimum date, we are giving that wheat a chance to tiller like crazy in the fall. If it tillers like crazy, I love fall tillers because fall tiller heads are essentially as big as the main head. So that's cool. But if you go out there and you seed two million seeds per acre, you know what'll happen? It'll just look thick as hair on, on your dog's back and 
next spring it'll look lush and, and well, it actually might look pretty sick from disease, but, but it just, it'll go And then when the wind blows, it'll go And that doesn't work. So we really have to shave back those seeding rates at a million seeds per acre. And we're on heavy clay, a million seeds per acre. The other things that you have to do, make sure you plant it deep enough because on those heavy clay soils, frost heave is a big issue. So we really want to get it in at least an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, so that we build the big root system as deep as we can. We don't need to go two or three inches deep unless of course there's no moisture, but get it in deep enough so we get the big root system to anchor it and prevent any loss from frost heave. Because we get the big root system, the frost can really heave it out. We need it as deep as we can be. Don't forget your fall weed control. Oh my gosh, across the board, Fall weed control is huge, particularly with resistant flea bane. So whether it's an air gone application or whether you wait till the wheat comes up, you hit it with infinity, I don't care, but make sure you look after your weed control in the fall. We should not be using herbicides in the spring. And just because you're planting early does not mean that you can get away from using your starter phosphorus. Starter phosphorus still pays. So we have this unbelievable opportunity with early planted wheat, just make sure that you do it right. Because if you don't, you actually can end up with real problems next year. Low seeding rate, don't plant earlier than you have to, but beat the rain, make sure it's deep enough, weed control, phosphorus fertilizer, five things to focus on this fall. Meanwhile, a little while later, we're gonna to have to talk about late planted wheat after soybeans. That's a whole nother ball of wax. Do we desiccate? How high do we go on seeding rates? How do we get weed control done? We'll do that later. Peter Johnson at WheatPete, realagriculture.com. Do not miss this unbelievable opportunity for great wheat.